Welcome to Sustainable Packaging with Corey Connors. I'm very excited to introduce my friend, Julie Suggs, who's the Academic Director for PackagingSchool.com. Welcome, Julie. How are you? Hey, guys. Thanks so much for having me, Corey. Thank I'm you for taking time. Here. We appreciate it. It's a, it's a really important topic for our audience because education in the packaging world is really hard. So can you tell kind of how did you personally, before we get into the school, how did you get into packaging? Oh, yeah, I would love to talk about that. So it's kind of a strange, um, interesting story, like probably a lot of you guys have. I'll give a quick plug for the best school ever. I went to Westminster College in, <laughs> in New Wilmington, Pennsylvania. It's a small liberal arts school, basically in the middle of Amish country. I went there for my undergraduate degree. I followed my dad's footsteps. He went there as well. I got a bachelor's in chemistry. And kind of from there, I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do with my degree. And I was kind of thinking about that going into my senior year of college. And I found some really great internship opportunities available, namely one through Cornell. It was Cornell Summer Scholars. And I actually got accepted and it actually sent me to NC State to end up working in packaging and food science. So there I got to actually make sweet potato juice and package it. So I got to kind of see the interaction between food science and packaging. And we got to, you know, aseptically package it. We got to see all kinds of things, test for probiotics, do just amazing things at this really great facility at NC State. So from there, I kind of figured out that I really do love packaging. And I think that should be my passion kind of going forward. So, you know, my senior year of college rolled around and I actually emailed Dr. Andrew Hurley, who is my current boss of the packaging school. And he's also a professor at Clemson University. And he, you know, if anyone knows him out there, he gets a million emails a day. And surprisingly, he answered my email and, you know, was interested in having me as a grad student. So, you know, I, I interviewed with him and then I ended up being becoming one of his grad students back in 2014. I went to Clemson from 2014 to 2018 and got my PhD in food technology and packaging with kind of focus on packaging. And that's kind of where I got into packaging in my role right now, currently still working for Dr. Hurley as academic director for his online school. What an incredible story. I love that, that you got a degree in chemistry. Yeah. That makes perfect sense. You know, that's never been my forte, the scientific, <laughs> you know, minutia of packaging. I'm more of a bigger, you know, secondary packaging has been our focus, but mm -hmm. I love that you got that degree first and then you, well, that's a really cool story. Thank you, Julie. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm, I'm big into polymers. You know, that was my kind of my, when I got to Clemson, I felt like I knew a lot about that already from that, you know, having the undergrad in chemistry. And then obviously I learned so much more about packaging that I didn't know from, you know, having under, undergrad in chemistry and, and packaging is, is so exciting and I'm happy to be in this industry today. That's great. And you guys serve an important role in the industry, educating our future uh, leaders and future employees of packaging companies. Can you tell us about the school? How did the school, the packagingschool.com get started? So this is fully online, right? Yes, it yep. is. It is all online. So, you know, as a company, we've been around for about six years. It actually stems from Clemson University growing into an LLC to kind of meet the demands of business. The genesis was kind of from Dr. Andrew Hurley and Drew Pelty. Dr. Hurley, again, like I said before, is a professor at Clemson. He is kind of focuses on all things packet and design, and he's just great. He's, he's a wealth of knowledge in packaging. He believes kind of in the power of education. And, you know, obviously while he values that four-year degree from an accredited school like Clemson, he realized that that's really not the reality for everyone. He decided to open the packaging school to help train kind of and teach folks in the industry who are looking to get into packaging. You know, our curriculum is super focused on, you know, the packaging, packaging, all things packaging, really. And he really wanted to understand that, you know, not everyone has that chance to, again, go back to school. So this was just an opportunity for people to take that online and learn more about, you know, all things packaging. Incredible. So I, I didn't know it had only been six years. That's great. So yeah, yeah. Times are changing, huh? And, you know, as the whole COVID situation happened, we felt like we were kind of ideally placed in the industry because, you know, things have moved online and we have always been an online school. So we were excited to be able to train people from the comfort of their home safely when that when that happened and, and is still happening. <laughs> did you see a big spike in enrollment when COVID hit? You know, what we did, we did, we, we kind of did a couple, you know, promos and discounts just because of, you know, because of the state of the world. And we, we did see some spikes in in education, some people that didn't know about us before found us because of this. So it was exciting to see that shift in the world for us to be able to kind of amend that shift in the world. You know, I get people asking me all the time, 
how did you get into packaging? It's such a weird industry to be in. And right. so I love, that's one of my favorite parts of this podcast is hearing people's stories. You know, mine is very unique. Yours is very unique. They all seem to be kind of roundabout. No one grows up thinking, I want to sell boxes someday, you know, <laughs> or design. I want to design mono materials uh, you know it's like come on it's so funny. you're so right Corey. we've actually done a couple articles and kind of fun videos about how people have asked kind of what do you do in packaging and a lot of people have said like what do you wrap gifts all day or do you send right. stuff to go to ups and it's so funny that people have such a limited understanding of all the things packaging really can do and how important packaging is in the world especially you know, today with, you know, e-commerce booming, and there's so many reasons why packaging is so important that people just don't understand or don't know because they haven't been exposed to it. So that's, that's so true. That's often a follow-up question is, what do you mean packaging? What does that mean? <laughs> what, and, and you're exactly right. It's the biggest industry yeah. that, that nobody talks about. They only complain about when they receive uh, deliveries that are, are not packaged well. <laughs> of course, of course. And yeah. yeah, and that, that, of course, that's part of it, but it's, it's so much more than that. So you're the academic director. Can you walk us through kind of your role? How, like what's a day look like for you? Like, are you, are you planning curriculum most of the time or are you what's tell us about that? Yeah. So I don't think I mentioned before the packaging school is official licensing of Clemson university's packaging curriculum. So this was developed over a decade by leading faculty. Currently we do have three kind of major programs and I'll talk about those, you know, throughout this podcast, but they are yep. called you know, Certificate of Packaging Science, Certificate of Mastery in Packaging Management and the Automotive Packaging Certificate. So basically as, you know, the academic director, I get to work on all kinds of cool things. I have a really great, you know, creative team. We have, you know, awesome to work with Dr. Hurley as, you know, that technical aspect of packaging. So my time basically is spent between student engagement, business development and curriculum development. So, you know, on the student side, I'm kind of the instructor cohort of the, you know, the mastery program that we run. And this program actually is run through Clemson Center for Corporate Learning, which is basically Clemson, but it's more Clemson for continued education. So we oh. kind of focus on a lot of students that are currently in the industry looking to just gain those continued education credits. So this course is 80 hours of content. It's 10 courses and you do it in 12 weeks. So it's a pretty fast paced program. Um, and it does offer those eight continued education credits for those that are interested in those. A lot of employees kind of like to see that as a way for, you know, their, to see their employees that are continuing to learn. So we, we kind of do value that here. So that's kind of one of my primary roles to, you know, to work on that program with those students. So I, I basically, you know, hold office hours with them and all online, you know, because we have students all across the board. Currently, we have a class of about 12 and we have people from Brazil, from, you know, obviously from the States, from South America, it's all, it's all across, it's, it's crazy because we have a lot of different people from all over. So again, you know, I have to be flexible with time zones and it's always, it's always fun to talk to people from, you know, just not just from where I'm from. So that's a major part of what, what I do at the packaging school. We also, you know, build a lot of curriculums to kind of fit the need of different organizations. This is kind of part of our kind of services aspect. So for certain companies like Colgate, Mondelez, Coke, we've built sort of I guess we've kind of started their programs from scratch. Like, so say for example, for Colgate, we recently built a kind of a foundations of packaging program for them. Mm -hmm. um, we found out from talking to a lot of their engineers that a lot of people that work there have obviously tons of background in chemical engineering, chemistry, mechanical engineering, industrial engineering, but none of them have been formally trained in, formally trained in packaging. Mm -hmm. So they wanted to kind of get them the Get, get them up to speed in all things packaging and basically be able to speak the language of packaging. So, so they have the theory behind packaging, not just the learning on the job. Wow. That's incredible. I, I always say that um, a good first step for anyone interested in going into packaging is to go work in a packaging facility where they make right. packaging. I spent my first five years making corrugated boxes at Weyerhaeuser and geez, what a great education in how to make boxes. I did it. <laughs> so I, I love that. that that's so awesome and that's something I haven't done yet as far as worked in actual plant I've seen you know we've done tours we've seen we've gotten a lot of footage but I think you're so right that you know online education I don't think it can it's just a compliment to you know that being able to see it firsthand yeah. and you know that's what we kind of aim to do is you know companies obviously have that that on-the-job training we just want to offer this as a way to kind of enhance that on-the-job training yeah, and these days with YouTube videos and like you said, your yeah. your your school is totally online, and with the videos and the instruction, you know, of on online instruction is 
-hmm. totally acceptable. And what a great way to get a head start in a, in a career. So I love yeah, that. Definitely. So this podcast is sustainable packaging. Can you tell us what kind of focus does the school have, if any yet, or are you working on new curriculum that could leverage that sustainable packaging movement? Yeah, no, I think, I think that's a great question. You know, first off, I think it's really important, you know, to educate, you know, employees, consumers, students, so they can be empowered with the knowledge, you know, and insights to help them understand that these issues, these, these huge issues, you know, sustainability is a huge issue across the board. It's funny, um, Dr. Hurley and I are actually just working on a webinar for kind of an, a, a society that wanted just some help with sustainability. And he, Dr. Hurley mentioned that, you know, the UN goals and sustainability goals that I, I really never realized, realized were so crucial. So we were looking at a ton, a ton of different brands like, you know, Costco, Pepsi, Coke, Mondelez, and kind of seeing how their sustainability goals all line up and how they all kind of make sense. So we're interested in actually adding that, that to our curriculum because it's really important to understand the company's, the company's goals so you can accur accurately you know, discuss sustainability with them when you're talking about materials, you know, innovations and, and you know, everything like that. So, yeah. you know, you know, being the academic director at the Pacton School, you know, I feel that creating and sharing meaningful, meaningful content is really great. And we want to do that by obviously, you know, continuing to grow our network. And we like to, you know, obviously we build things on our learning management system, our website, social media, and we think it's crucial to talk about, you know, all these sustainability issues. Great points. It's so, it's so critical. And how do you approach a company and say, you know, okay, here's where you are now. How, what, what's the measurement? How does, what is, what does success look like for you in sustainability? Does that mean we replace, you know, a certain amount of non-recyclable materials? Does that mean we figure out how to recycle those non-recyclable materials? You know, uh, yeah. things like education to their consumers, are really critical. It's not just about, you know, removing plastics. I think plastics are necessary. I think we, you know, they absolutely can be sustainable if yeah. they're recycled and if they're right. handled properly on the back end of, of their life. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Cool. You know, and I, I totally agree with that, you know, and it's, it's so cool to see all these companies goals, like reaching to 2030, like talking about all these things they want to accomplish. And I think they will, you know, but I think with the help of, you know, people like us, like that can help educate their employees. I think that we can help them get there. And I, I really am I'm hopeful for the future in this respect, you know, and we do have a sustainable packaging course and we're always looking to update this. You know, we cover, you know, LCA energy sourcing, design optimization, effective recovering. We also talk a lot about that, you know, the people, planet and profit, because obviously that's super important in the sustainability strategy. So we do have a great course. It's about, a, it's about three hours long and it's definitely available on our website to check out. I think that's something important for people to take to understand you know, the basis of sustainability. That's great. I didn't know there was one. So I'm excited to take it. I'm going to, I'll commit to you right now. I'm going to take your, oh. your three hour course. Yeah, so I, I can learn even better. I'll, I'll be your, your next student. <laughs> that sounds uh, fantastic. <laughs> thank you. So what do you see as the future of sustainability? You've, you've studied it, you've taught it. Yeah. What do you think? You know, and that's, that's a great question. You know, being an educator, I do feel like it's really important to understand all the facts. So recently kind of doing some research, I, I, I love research. That's one of my favorite parts of my job. I came across a study conducted by Univer University of Plymouth that supports the fact that education can help change behaviors. And this one was, specific, was specifically on ocean pollution. So this study, they, you know, they looked at 120 educators from 18 different countries across Europe. And, you know, and they decided that, you know, these, these people were on, enrolled in online training about marine litter. They asked participants to compete, complete assessments on how the training changed their attitudes about the problem. So it was really cool to see that these results indicated that the educators who participated in the training would be more likely to further implement these similar training materials in their, into their teaching to raise awareness. So to me, that was like really cool to find this study because obviously, you know, we think this is super important, you know, you know, education sector represent, rep represents an important you know, agent of social change. And yeah. we need to, we need to take that res responsibility very seriously. Um, you know, and, and this research helped me show, help to show that educators can play that lead role in increasing knowledge. You know, it's, it's, it's really essential to educate young people, you know, now that, you know, the future, it really is in their hands. <laughs> totally. And that's exactly why I started this podcast. I want people to know that it's possible. We can do this. We can be sustainable. Yeah. We can, come up with new materials we can figure out better ways to use the materials that we're using yeah. 
hundred percent. Such a simple thing. And it's interesting you mentioned mentioned the marine. Several of the companies I've had on here that have created sustainable packaging products, they were surfers. You know, oh, yeah. S- Sam Bowie from FlexiHex, John from Cruise Foam. These guys are all surfers. You know, and it's like. Okay, that makes sense. You're spending time in the water and you see something floating. You don't want that there anymore. So you exactly. you innovate, you come up with a new way, you help clean up, you help eliminate. So it's going to take more of that. I, I think the surfing community is an incredible group of people, yeah. uh, at least the ones I've talked to. <laughs> you say that and, you know, and on the topic you know, of innovation too, we've done some, our, you know, our sister company, Package Insight, who works really closely with quad packaging. We've done some really great con- consumer research studies, you know, with eye tracking and facial coding to kind of understand where these gaps in knowledge are as far as, you know, recyclability on pack, sustainability. And, you know, we think it's really important to consider those type of technologies when you're investigating sustainability. Absolutely. And new, it seems like there's new materials coming out every month. I swear, I, I swear I learned something new weekly that's Same. kind of mind-blowing like really you can make packaging out of mushrooms you can make packaging out of <laughs> yes. out of you know urchins I, I don't know whatever you know that's not one that's real but it seems like they continue to find sustainable mm-hmm. sources that could replace things that are less sustainable so that's really cool and I, you're right I don't think that's going to stop I think people are going to continue to find new materials and we're going to continue to learn about them and you know, our job at the packaging school is to stay on top of the times. You know, we do aim to kind of update our curriculum as these new innovations and these new materials come about. We don't want to stay stuck in, you know, say, you know, 2020, 2021. We want to keep on growing and keep on, you know, innovating with with all these scientists and packaging engineers out there. Definitely. So can you tell us how the school works? Is it is it like you just sign up anytime? And, or is, like you said, you have a class now of 12, is there, is there like semesters or can you kind of speak to that a little bit? If I, when I sign up for my sustainability course, do I wait for the next term or? (laughs) No, that's a great question, Corey. And we kind of have paths for everyone. So on our website, you'll find that there's courses like the sustainability course. We have core courses that are all just available at any time. They're all kind of asynchronous learning. You can log into our platform and take that, you know, anywhere, anytime. That's kind of our, our mantra, you know, whenever you have availability, as far as, you know, take it during lunch, take it during, you know, after work, take it when you're dropping your kids off for school, you know, and we try to, we aim to make all of our courses kind of interesting and engaging as far as using this technique called micro learning, where, you know, we have small bits of information at a time. So you're not sick listening to like a one hour presentation at one time. It's all, you know, five, six minute lessons. So you feel accomplished when you finish a lesson. So that's one example. So you could take all, cor- our, all of our courses a la carte, so to speak. And then we do have some certificate programs that run kind of on a cohort semester basis. So the certificate of mastery in packaging management, the one that runs through Clemson Center for Corporate Learning, that's actually on kind of a quarterly basis. So we have enrollments going on through you know, different dates. So currently we have one going on that's going to end in October. The next one starts in December. So we have application processes rolling until through November. So it's kind of a process where, you know, you do have to apply, be accepted. And then that is a 12 week program. So that is kind of a little bit more stringent as far as the timeline goes. But then we have another program that's kind of similar to this master program. It's called the certificate of packaging science, where you have a year access to 12 courses. And this again is licensed through Clemson university. And you can kind of log in at any time, take the courses, there's no distinct timeline you have to follow. You just have that year to complete it. That's incredible. And that's exactly the kind of school I, I need. I don't have you necessarily three hours in a day, but I, I have five, six minute little segments that I can get away and learn something new. That's great. It's like, like you said, watching a YouTube video or something, you know? Right. And that's kind of how we designed it. You know, our creative director, Kevin, is really great at making kind of content engaging and fun. He's actually done something cool. I don't know. I can I can do a shout out to Kevin because he's awesome. It's called the Packaging School Show, where during COVID, he spent some time just talking about all the kind of current event issues. He interviewed a lot of folks. He talked a lot about hand sanitizing, packaging, all kinds of cool things he did. And he kind of just makes it fun and engaging. He modeled it after like a late night show where he was kind of just like a newscaster and talking and Y'all need to check it out. It's called the Packaging School Packaging School Show. It's on YouTube. It, it's really fun. So we've actually put some of that into our courses because people really loved it. 
I have subscribed to that. I love it. It, It's fantastic. You know, I love social media. So that's, it's absolutely, I was impressed by that and a little bit jealous that I didn't think of that first. So (laughs) kudos to you and your team. Yeah. It's been fun. And I know Kevin wants to get back into it now that, you know, obviously things have ramped up a little bit for him as far as, you know, creating different content, but he does aim to have some more shows coming up soon. So that's exciting. Oh, that's so cool. Let me know if I can help in any way with those. Those are really good. Yeah, we yeah, well have a TikTok star like yourself on the show. <laughs> so that would be fun. <laughs> uh, TikTok star is pushing it, but yes, <laughs> I, I do have a TikTok page. Yeah. Yes, yes. Thank you so much. So uh, what's the best way for people to get a hold of you guys and, and you in particular, Julie, you're, you're an amazing uh, resource. Oh, yes. I would love you guys can contact me at just julietpactionschool.com. We also have an information page where, you know, just general inquiries can go at info at backtoschool.com. And we do have a phone number available where you will reach me or my colleague, Diana. It's 864-412-5000. Well, that's fantastic. Uh, You don't hear about phone numbers very often anymore, but when you do, I think it's fun. (laughs) I love to talk to students, you know, one-on-one and so does Diana. So it's fun to actually talk to a human because sometimes you go onto a online something and you just talk to a bot so we are real people at the packaging school it's a revelation when you can actually talk to someone and they are are helpful and i love it it's such a good feeling well thank you so much julie i really appreciate your time and i'd like to thank our sponsor landsberg aurora for your continued support of this podcast listeners please take a minute to review the the podcast and share it with your friends we truly do appreciate it so we can continue to make uh, great sustainable packaging podcast episodes thank you so much Thank you so much.